down. Here now to respond is Larry Sabato, University of Virginia Center for Politics Director. This is very dicey territory, my friend. I mean, this plan, they're thinking Luther, Luther Strange steps down now and triggers a special election right now? I don't think it'll ever work, and I don't think it'll ever happen. And Senator Strange has already said he won't do it. And the governor, a Governor Kay Ivey, has already indicated she won't play along. So that's kind of all the key people. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, the Alabama election laws are unusual, yes, but they are the law. And you have to obey the law. You can't change the rules in the middle of a game. Uh, it's going to be a ballot on December 12th between Roy Moore and Doug Jones. And I think that's it. Uh, the people of Alabama will make a decision on December 12th. Then it will go to the Senate. If it, if it is Roy Moore, uh, it's pretty clear already that some of the Republicans, maybe most of them, uh, will put it into the Ethics Committee and potentially vote for expulsion. Uh, they have to seat him, by the way, if he's elected. They can't deny uh, his seating. Yeah. But they can send it into ethics and then potentially have an expulsion. Yeah, because people in Alabama are getting really angry. I mean, about the fact that if you lo look at local um, press down there, it's not necessarily so much that they back him as much as they do not want to be told by the rest of the country, who, or by especially by people in Washington specifically, who they're supposed to be represented by. And that's they've, they've kind of struck a totally different issue that's almost separate from, if that's possible, from these accusations. Yes, uh, I think it's been true for southern states since the Civil War, and to a certain degree, it's true for every state. Uh, who, likes, who likes to be dictated to uh, yeah. by politicians who don't represent you, who are from another state or another uh, region? Now, if President Trump, being as popular as he is in Alabama, if he stepped in, that might make some difference, or it might not. I mean, he tried to get Senator Strange renominated, right. and he or nominated, and he could not do so. So, yeah, I think um, probably the D.C. forces would be better off if they just sat back and waited for the results on December 12th, yeah. whatever they are. Maybe that's what they're doing. I mean, you know, making a lot of sound and bluster now. They can be on the record saying that they said something, they tried to do something, but then they're not responsible. Let me ask you about our other story. So sounding the alarm on the Republican Party, New York Congressman Peter King out with a warning before the House voted to pass their version of the tax reform bill, saying, quote, we could lose all the seats in the Northeast. Everybody could be in a tight race. This is an unforced error. We are doing this to ourselves. Larry, I mean, he's right. He's going to go back to his district and say, you know, I voted to raise your taxes. Now, we all understand the theory behind this, the idea, you know, the state and local tax deduction. If you, why should the federal, why, you know, why should everybody be subsidizing these cities? Like New York City, they waste a ton of money. It's really distressing. Um, they get away with it in part because we can write it off on our federal taxes. How do you think that this shapes the next round of congressional races? It will have an effect. I think uh, Pete King is correct there. I don't know if I would go as far to say that every single Republican congressman in the Northeast would lose. Uh, that's, that's pretty drastic. But, of course, he's a politician. He has to make his point. He feels very strongly about the state and local deduction, as do many people in the Northeast. It certainly won't help them get reelected. That's the point he's trying to make. Yeah. I mean, he, the argument is, you know, they always say New Yorkers sent $48 billion more dollars to D.C. Um, in 2015 than they received. So that's why, that's what this is really all about. It's not about the wasteful cities. I mean, you kind of slice and dice through the math and the reality. What do you think of that? Uh, lies, damn lies, and statistics. Uh, you you, <laughs> you yeah. can find something to support any, any point of view. Really By true. the way, you know, it's, it's amusing. I don't think I've ever heard a single state or its representatives say that they, they sent, that they got more back from Washington, D.C. <laughs> than they sent. And, of course, there's a massive federal debt, so maybe that's the reason. Right, so who's but, spending uh, look, all that money? Yeah, right. Yeah. Who's spending all that money? You know, I guess everybody is, but... Uh, I think it's a it's a very tough deal for the Republicans representing the Northeast, but that is not going to be the only issue in the yeah. 2018 campaign. It's true. All right, Larry, thank you. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Melissa. Thank you.